Greetings and welcome to five minutes week five minute weekly scripture scripture reveal Bible study dedicated introducing all to the word of God, intending faith that comes from hearing, and that is hearing the good news about Christ. Now, believer, let God's word declare Christ, God's word to you, igniting faith within. Believer, let God's word boost God's word in you, increasing faith within. Today's study is part four, Earth's Informational Strongholds, God's Protective Process, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 to 17. Verse 13, New Living Translation. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to stand, able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. This verse reveals believers' response to the reality of this warfare should be to use every piece of God's armor. Only with the armor will believers be able to be standing firm, a word describing standing against great opposition. Indeed, it would be impossible to stand on your own strength alone. Christian soldiers must be able to hold their ground and not flee or surrender under Satan's attack. Christians must be prepared for every day's conflicts with the forces of evil. Verse 14, New Living Translation. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. The order of the pieces listed in the following verses is the order in which a soldier would put them on. First, fasten the sturdy belt of truth around your waist. Probably made of leather, it held together the clothing underneath as well as holding the other pieces of armor in place, such as the breastplate and the sheath for the sword. When the belt was fastened, the soldier was, was on duty, ready to fight. Christians, however, must face each day with a fastened belt, ready to fight the battle when needed. As the belt formed the foundation of the soldier's armor, the truth is the foundation of the Christian life. When the enemy, the father of lies, please read John 8, attacks with his lies, have truths and distortions, we believers can stand firm in the truth. Next, the soldier must put on the body armor of God's righteousness, protecting the vital organs. No soldier will go into battle without, this bo without his body armor. Righteousness provides a significant defense. It gives the evidence that we have been made right with God and that his righteousness has been given us by the Holy Spirit. Satan seeks to frustrate, room, prevent, stop righteous living. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, New Living Translation. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Believers also need special shoes. Peace that comes from the good news. Believers can stand firm with peace, even in hand-to-hand -hand combat, because they know that they are doing right and that they are on the winning side. When the enemy, the deceiver, please read Revelations 12, 9, offers false ways to peace or tries to get us to focus on our concerns and fears, we Christian soldiers can stand up to him. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, New Living Translation. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. The soldier needed to also carry extra protection in the form of a shield. The ancient flaming arrow or fire dart was made of cane with a flammable head that was lighted and then shot so as to set fire to wooden shields, clothes, tents, etc. For Christians, for Christians, this shield is faith, complete reliance on God. Faith means total dependence on God and willingness to do his will. It means believing in his promises, even though we don't see those promises materializing yet. When the enemy, the rule of this world, read John 12, 31, sends his fiery arrows of temptation, doubt, wrath, lust, despair, vengeance, problems, and trials into your lives, we can hold up our shields and stop them. Faith gives us the strength to stand against Satan with firm cover with firm courage, even when he uses his most fearsome weapons. Ephesians 6, 17, New Living Translation, put on the salvation of your helmet, 
and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The helmet protected the soldier's head. Helmets were made of leather and brass or sometimes bronze and iron. No sword could pierce a good helmet. Believer's salvation already accomplished will be completed when Christ comes to claim his own. With the assurance of salvation protecting their minds, Christians can stand against Satan's attacks as a blow to the head often means death. So a person without hope of salvation will be easily defeated by the enemy. When the enemy, the devil, please read 1 Peter 5, 8, seeks to devour and destroy God's people with empty or evil thoughts, trying to get us to doubt our salvation, we can trust in the protection of the helmet. Our salvation will be accomplished for God has promised it. Finally, the soldier takes the sword of the spirit, the only offensive weapon mentioned. The Spirit makes the Word of God effective as we speak it and receive it. The Spirit gives the Word its penetrating power and sharp edge. Jesus' use of God's Word in his temptation prompts our use of it against Satan. Please read Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, verse 7, and verse 10. With the Holy Spirit within, believers have the constant reminder of God's Word to use against Satan's temptations. When the enemy, the tempter, Matthew chapter 4, 3 to 4, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 5, tries to tempt us to do evil. We have the power to send him away with the word of God. The spirit will bring the words to mind. A review, God, God's mighty weapons, truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation, the word of God, defeats false philosophies that divert glory from God and hide the truth, which the devil strongholds. This study covered 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, and Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 17. Today we covered Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 to 17. Earth's informational strongholds, God's protective process. You find this teaching on youtube.com, channel Minister Herbert Pankey, getting to know God's word for purpose of increasing faith. Thanks for joining. God bless.